guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so right now guys i'm going to be telling you how to concentrate in class of course guys i remember i've just done this habit a lot in classes but there is one subject i did in french where we was saying importance of following in class but so how can we follow how to concentrate when the teacher is teaching right so that's what i'm going to be telling you in this video and i'm just going to tell you the three only ways on how to concentrate in class so guys i hope you like this video and as you don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe click on the post notification and also share my video i love you guys so much now we can start the video Now, what is the first way? So, the first thing it is to know what you are going to learn abroad. So, guys, I know probably you guys go in class, you don't know what you are going to learn about. Maybe this is math, but we don't know what you're going to learn about if the teacher tells you like. Okay, you guys, so today we are going to learn about handling the chair. Okay, okay, handling the chair. Or maybe today we are going to learn about this and that. But you actually really don't know. You need like to know about it. You need like maybe if it's just say we are gonna like study about this. So you you need just first to think in your mind what um what is going on. We are studying math and just studying this. Okay. We have statistics maybe in handling the chart. And like okay, how do we use it? You need to know about it because if you don't know, guys probably should we mm. so maybe you're going to study something english math science and so on but they actually really don't know what they are learning about okay we are maybe in science but i think we are learning math because in science there is like some topics like maybe you need to calculate in science also there is calculation right so some people think okay this is math this is probably math you don't know what you're learning about so it can be concentrated you say oh my gosh but it teaches science is here but you're studying this i am not concentrated you need first to think about it you need first to know what you're learning about it so you can like be concentrated if it is a new thing whatever it can be a new thing or it can be a new thing it's fine it's maybe when you go let's take an example maybe you go in another school right guys and so after when you go in that school yeah you find things maybe you're in stage four and you are like in stage three and you learn the things in stage three so you're gonna say i'm not gonna concentrate but no they have a new way you can you can learn new things different ways so guys you need first to know what you're learning about to know which topic or are you continuing so that you can concentrate really well because if you're not concentrated you don't know what you were like they are teaching you so you need to know about it right guys i think from today before you guys start a lesson you first know today we have math let me wait for the teacher to say if today we are continuing about the topic that you launched yesterday or maybe you are having a new topic you need to know about that after you can concentrate on that thing okay handling handling that shirt. i'm gonna concentrate on it so that i can see it can be anything or not but you are gonna concentrate and when you concentrate the result is you win in exams so guys now let's go to the second way so what is the second way the second way is to forget about other things you see the last lesson that you studied in class, mother of you, you don't concentrate a lot. So that's why we fail in the last song. We don't understand really well what you said it. Or maybe some can understand, others can't. So, because of what? Because you're not concentrated. You need to be concentrated, guys. You guys need to be concentrated. You need to forget about other things. Okay, I'm going to make a YouTube video. I need to forget about other, I mean, other things. It is the time of making a YouTube video. I'm not just gonna go and say, I'm going to go do, I'm thinking, what am I eating tomorrow? What am I eating this night? What, what did I eat this morning? What will I do after this week? What? You need first to focus on it, right? Then if you are going to study English, forget about math. You need to concentrate in English. And then when you go at home, that's when you can like learn everything. You can do a revision of all the things you learned, right? And I don't mean like to forget what it told you, but just to concentrate on that lesson. Don't think maybe today we are teaching for you adverbs. Teacher is explaining in your head, math is start working. Okay, teacher is teaching and then after you go. 
so guys this is this and that and then that, that so pronouns are maybe words that replace a noun he she it and then you are okay so oh my gosh teacher give us this homework so what is the length of a swimming pool oh my gosh is it meter is it kilometer is it centimeter oh my gosh okay okay let me take a pause tracy think centimeter what you are thinking about math? What well, we are in English? We are studying about pronouns, not math, not doing calculation, not measuring the length, right? So you need to forget about math. Forget like about math, then go in English, French, can run the Spanish. Then when you reach home, do a revision, do some exercises, and do everything. I don't mean like as I said, forget about everything. So that was the second way. So the second way is to forget about the things that you have did. And the thing that you will do, just concentrate on what you're doing. You are washing clothes, don't go think about other things. What am I going to do? Let me wash with it first. And then you don't even do that thing well. Because when you are rushing, you don't do something very well. So you need to do that thing well, right? So now guys, let's go to the third way, which is probably the last way. guys are you still with me so now we can go to the third way so what is the third way so the third way probably as i said i didn't say the third way so the third way which is the last way it is to get some rest can you get some rest in class <laughs> To concentrate on it, maybe we are studying. I don't mean this. People, if I say like to get rest, some of you think like this. <clears throat> I am teaching, very she's teaching, and I say, I can't concentrate, let me get some rest in class, and then you sleep. Wait, in class? No. You need to get some rest at home, not in class, because when you're tired, you can do anything. Mm, 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 mm. I know. Have you ever seen that you can't even follow a movie? You are watching a movie, but you're like tired. You're going to just sleep. You didn't even know what's going on, right? So yes, we need much more rest. We need to rest. We need to sleep because uh, when we sleep, uh, when we sleep, our brain get some rest, get time like to maybe analyze what we did on the day. If there's something hard, you say I need this rest. This one when sometimes they wake up, you feel like you wanna again go back to bed. But when you sleep really early, like maybe let's say at 5 p.m. and they wake you up like maybe at 8 p.m. let's suppose that or maybe 9 that hour it is just like too short right but when you sleep at 4 p.m. they wake up you at maybe 6 a.m. you'll sleep a lot your brain had time like to analyze everything to analyze about everything you did and to take some rest to memorize it to keep it and get some rest so that you can sleep after analyzing the thing it maybe had three hours to sleep again four or five like that so yes it gets some rest and then you can see like how to sleep that one when they wake you when you're super and they wake you late you feel like okay i'm ready to start any day but when you sleep late they wake you maybe you sleep at let's say maybe 9 p.m they wake you up at 4 a.m oh my gosh you didn't get a lot of rest but at least that when when they wake up you feel like your brain is a little bit tired so you go again wash your face so that it can get some calms all right so you need to get some rest so that you can cross so that your brain had already received what he did on the day and then after he can be ready to start a new day or a new program how i can say it so probably guys i guess you understand it about the third way so the third way it is probably to get some rest at home not in class so that will all have for you in this video and thank you for all of you who watched the video till the end so guys before we go let's take a small recap so i find that the first way it is to first know what you're learning about which subject are you learning about and which topic are you learning about or are you continuing on what you did yesterday or another day so the second way it is to forget about other things not to forget like really forget like you don't even remember what you did in math but just keep it aside keep it aside think of what you're doing when you reach home do a small recap it will still be there and now the third way it was just to get some rest not in the class but at home I guess you guys like this video and thank you so much for all of you who have watched this video till the end. I love you guys so much and that's it. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up, give leave a like, 
subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notification, and also share my video. I love you guys so much. See you in the next video. Ciao!